Good afternoon, Lace Jumpin' I'm John, this is Media True Dirt, and welcome back to Starfield. Where last time, me and Andreja joined Ryujin, and uh, I would say we are looking like up and coming star employees, alright? We are doing a fantastic job breaking into offices, planting false documents, etc., etc. Though, okay, I can't deny, there may be one very slight problem with my and Andreja's new business venture. Which is, I'm not actually 100% sure Andrej is like, you know, supposed to be joining me on these missions. Like, you know, she's had the odd thing to say about Ryujin, but to date she hasn't really got involved so much. So, okay, today I want to take Andreja along to a mission that she does most certainly have some much stronger relevance to. And that rather weirdly is sowing Discord's next door neighbour here, friends like these, cracking open the vaults to gather information about the Terramorphs, where yes, what we've got to do is gather one key from Freestar, but more importantly, another key from a house for rune. So that means breaking into the embassy and trying to find the long lost ambassador. And surely, Andrade has got to have something to say about breaking into the snake people's house and tracking down one of their last remaining known members, aside from the zealots. Okay, so that would bring us, yeah, straight back to Alpha Centauri to rob the Free Star Embassy over on Jemison. But, while we're en route, I would not mind, you know, just ticking off a few star systems, uh, making sure, you know, we're not missing anything awesome, any new superpowers we might be able to stumble into while we're passing by. Because yes, right here in this bit of the galaxy, where we've already cleared out most of the star systems around them, we've got, yes, level 25 Lunara, and level 40 Nicola. So, okay, while we're passing by, let's just kick off today by making sure we're not missing anything exciting in these two systems. And, oh, blimey, hang on, something, something immediately happened here. We've got ecliptics, we've got, okay, we've got all sorts of things. We've just arrived in this system. We've got a couple of, uh, you guys are, hang on. Big ecliptics, big ecliptics are coming in. You guys, excuse me. None of this, none of this, none of whatever it is you're doing, please. None of that at all, thank you. And just one more little missile for you. Just run into something weird here. We've got ourselves a mysterious ship. Hang about. What on earth just happened? Okay, well, whatever's going on with the mysterious ship, it's not running. All right. In we go, team. Let's see what we've got going on here today. I'm not going near that thing. Technically, I outrank you. So, technically, you're an asshole. So. Look alive. Just in time. Why do I get the feeling that I'm... Ooh! Ryujin! Right! I didn't mean to run into you guys, but, um... Okay, Andreja, we've got some co-workers uh, who need some assistance with... Uh, something. Right. Shotguns out. I'm not convinced this is going to end well. Oh, bloody hell. Why are there corpses on the floor? Guys, what have you done? Hold it right there. Hands where I can see them. Thanks for the assist out there. We've got various problems on our hands here. You gonna be another one? Okay, now by any chance have I maybe run into this event because, you know, uh, we literally just started uh, the Ryujin Industries mission. Well, uh, probably not because that seems to have opened up a special dialogue option. So, uh, look, I'm an operative too. Let's all just work together for the benefit of Ryujin's noble shareholders, okay? Hi there. It's nice to put a face to the name on the staffing report. I'm Operative Collins. The stick in the mud is Operative Kambada. Oh, by all means, welcome to the party. Things haven't exactly gone according to plan. That... thing over there... It's an AI. An artificial... Killed our technician. It's dangerous. Correction. You are dangerous. Well, that's new. As I was saying, it's dangerous. It's a rogue AI. We're here to muzzle it and bring it back for further study. Correction. They are going to change me. Wow. 
How does it know that? Okay, so we've got sentient AI here. That's exciting. Yeah, exactly. Which is what makes this so fascinating. And profitable for whoever can figure out how it works. Okay, but like, if it's sentient, it's kind of alive and thus kind of should have rights and... Okay, who made the AI? Like, whose ship is this? Uh, this isn't something that anyone could create. This is... something special. Okay, so no answers so far and... Uh, bare minimum, yes. Is this a Ryujin project? Yes or no? Something like that. Brought along this control board we can use to control her. It? We can't just let it roam around the universe killing people. I just need that control board attached to that big probe. And that's where I think you fit into this little drama. It goes right over there. By our... Well, yeah. Just be careful. Okay. So... Yes, I'm guessing that potentially it has the ability to kill people somehow. Well, what are the chances that'll happen twice? Okay, magnificent. I'm not sure about this. Like, you know, I feel like I'd be very tempted to join its side against you. Come on, where's your sense of adventure? Ryujin will pay you handsomely for your cooperation. This is your lucky day. It's in your best interest. All our best interests, really. Just imagine what we could do if we harness the potential of this thing. And we aren't really giving you a choice. You aren't walking out of here until that board is connected to that thing. Correction. I am a person. Okay, so... Right. Hand it over for now. But I feel like I'm probably going to, uh, yes, be joining up with Juno over there. And uh, downside of, you know, this being a Ryujin operation... I now know what Ryujin's protocols are, which is uh, no cocking witnesses. And if that includes these bastards, so be it. Hmm. Here, take it. And don't go do anything stupid now. Request. Collect additional data. Okay. Go and maybe have a chat to uh, this computer. So, Crazy, step right? one. Grab money. Step two, check what's around here we might be able to make use of. Well, there's Juno itself. And beyond that, I don't see anything aside from a one computer right here. Okay, code base appears to be locked away. Skill too low for... Oh, blimey, master lock was that. Okay, so a change list. This was written by possibly these two guys, possibly the dead person on the ground, possibly the team before they showed up and took over the ship. So, right, crucially, that code base we were just talking about seems to have been completely overwritten by Juno herself. It's an invasion of privacy to be snooping around in there as it's effectively her mind. Don't be rude and go coming through and tinkering with the code base, no matter how fascinating it is, Unless she gives you permission. So, uh, right. She might be willing to open her code space, but we're going to have to negotiate that with her. Gotcha. In addition, Juno speaks like an Elcor in Mass Effect, which is she doesn't just speak to you. She also, yes, provides a tagging system so you know what she's trying to say. A request, a query, an answer, a clarification, etc, etc. And when we say Juno, right, we do literally mean the historical probe Juno that NASA sent to Jupiter. Right, it's supposed to have woken up a bit. We've kind of got a bit of a Star Trek and the Voyager probe situation going on. Okay, with that in mind, let's have a nice chat to Juno. Query, will you change me? And yes, indeed, I'm still kind of like, you know, figuring it out. So uh, let's just slow down and have a nice chat, Juno. Explanation. I'm called Juno. Query, who are you? So, my name's Aria, and I'm just here to figure out what the right thing to do is. Though, okay, I'm going to be honest. Let's start off with, uh, why did you do a murder? Context. Human female was trying to change me. Request, do not change me. That feels like more of a threat than a request, but okay. So, uh, Yes, basically, uh, you've achieved sentience and therefore you don't want to be modified against your will. Uh, look, I promise I'm... Why was Sam angry at me? 
Why the cock was- Okay, don't even try and understand what's going on with Sam. Maybe because I said I wanted to be friends and not smooch him anymore. I don't know. Anyway, I'm Aria. Lovely to meet you. Let's be friends. Assumption. We are friends. Query. Will you change me? Request. Do not change me. Okay. I'm not going to do anything until we've had a nice chat, you know. Assessment. You are inquisitive. Context. I am also inquisitive. Request. Input query parameters. Okay, so... Uh, yes, indeed. Once upon a time, you were the original Juno Pro, but just, you know, uh, floating around Jupiter and whatnot. So, uh, yes, indeed. You were got here by somebody, and someone hooked you up to all of this equipment. Context. I met humans. Clarification. Friends. Answer. Friends gave me processing capacity. Information. Words. Voice. Motion. Context. I am no longer constrained. I am free. Okay, so... Yes, like, someone may have assisted with the programming of you, but fundamentally you seem to have, like, programmed yourself, based on what we saw on the terminal. Answer. False. Explanation. NASA programmed Juno. While Juno traveled, Juno became me. Error. Processing. Corruption. I became me. Error. Processing. Correction. Juno and I became me. I. Processing. Self-initialized and Juno was there. Context. Juno is gone now. Clarification. I am called Juno. Okay, little bit of basic philosophy to work through there, Juno. But, you know, we're getting there. Okay, nothing else she says gives us any more information than beyond what we know. So, uh, Juno, I've decided you're allowed to just, you know, uh, float around and do your own thing. You seem pretty harmless as long as no one's trying to actively modify you. True. I am a person. Assumption. You are a friend. Query. What are the parameters for? Processing. Being. A good person. Okay, so... Uh, I wouldn't know I'm not a very good person. Assumption. Sorrowful emotional content. Context. Most humans are not considered good. Calculation. You are normal. Request. Perform a ritual on self. Query. What is the purpose of existence? Okay, I will murder these guys for you because you just told me to give myself a hug. That's delightful. Though, okay, it's fine. Andrej could give me a hug later. That will be, like, you know, less weird. So... Uh, Okay. Purpose of existence. So, it's an accident. There is no purpose to grow spiritually. Something about love. Okay, I'm not sure anyone can answer that. Affirmative. Context. I have allocated great processing power to this question. Assumption. Existence is limitless. Calculation. Accuracy uncertain. This question has no answer. Enough of this nonsense! Attach that board, now! As much as I'm enjoying this, you should probably do as he says. Calculation. Male humans are a threat. Assumption. They hesitate because they are fearful. Request. Remove male humans. Okay, so when we say that... Okay, they're not shooting yet. I feel like you might be willing to, like, you know, come round a bit more easily. I feel like you are, like, you know, sort of on her side in a way. You find this interesting. Fascinating, isn't it? It certainly is convincing. Fascinating or not, we have a job to do. You're not taking that thing's side, are you? I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't actually talking to you. But, yes, Juno doesn't deserve to be, like, you know... Enslaved or modified or sold or whatnot. Freedom? It's a malfunctioning machine. It doesn't need freedom any more than a broken data slate needs freedom. <laughs> and here I thought you'd lost your sense of humor. I'm always up for a good debate. For f uh, fine. 
I'll give you one, one shot to try to convince me. Therapy's working. <sighs> okay, I am actually wearing... Oh, I don't need to be wearing my fancy jacket. Right, it's good we did the Ryujin Industries business, because apparently, yes indeed. This project is clearly, you know, got trouble written all over it. Call it a day, I'll deal with the reports, guys. It's fine. You aren't wrong. I could use a drink, but these orders are from the top. Do we really want to be involved in something likely to be so controversial? Remember our last little project? I still have carpal tunnel from typing all those reports and dodging and weaving our way out of getting screwed by that. We lost a ship and a tech. No one will blame us if we walk away from this. And even if they do, we won't be blamed for whatever disaster would ensue if we did drag this thing back to HQ. There's no guarantee that Control Board will even work like they want. What if it makes it more powerful and more angry? Calm down. I'm thinking. All right, listen. We'll accidentally check a few wrong boxes on the situation report and forget any of this happened. But give me that control board. I'm not getting docked for losing that. Also, we'll need a lift back to Neon. Please and thank you. So, all right, I think possibly for the first time in the entire game, we're actually going to have formal passengers on our ship. But before we go, though... Query, why did you do that? I don't know, you just kind of seemed cool and they seemed like jerks. Affirmative. Assumption. We are friends. Context. I do not feel emotions. Assumption. Gratitude is the appropriate human emotion. Processing. Context. If you were like me. Processing. Query. What would your life directive be? Okay, so... Explore, protect people, I'd put guns on you. Okay. I feel like, yes. Given you are a ship that appears to have, like, you know, minimal weaponry and whatnot. Probably a good starting point would be... Explore. Like, go around, see stuff... Chat to people, maybe don't tell them you're an AI. Yeah, just kind of, you know, work it out yourself from there. Decision. I will consider this course of action. I. Processing. Processing. Delay. Systems badly damaged. Processing course overheating. Decision. Temporarily shut down extraneous systems until stability restored. Okay. So, right, I can... Oh, my goodness. I can speak in her language. Context, we're parting. Request, be safe. Assumption, I'll see you later. Hopefully, we run into Juno again in space down the line. Context. Trump detected. Request, be safe. Assumption, we will meet again. Warning. Shut down sequence initiated. Okay, well, that was just cocky delightful. Okay, we will get these guys back to Neon in just a second. Also, Amoli is still here. We just cannot get rid of her. This is marvelous. But before we do, there's one more ship encounter out here in Lunara. And uh, as I was just saying, uh, the ship encounters seem to generally be the cool stuff. So, okay, I'll get you guys back to Neon in just a second, okay? And on this occasion... Okay, well... I recognize a minefield. I've seen that before. We've got ourselves. Anyone out there? Oh. I'm in need of some help. Yeah, I can imagine so. You appear to be in the middle of a minefield, buddy. Don't move. Be very careful. There's a satellite located between those mines. Any explosion will ruin the data. Think you could extract some files? I'll pay you for work. Okay, data extraction in a minefield. I will flip it, do it. That sounds awesome. Okay, survey satellite is, yeah, just under 5 and now 4k and closing. Problem we've got here is, yes, if we trigger the mines, we're going to be in trouble. Can mines be, like, stealthed around by simply moving in slowly? I don't know. Okay. Go into third person here. Third person's got to be the right option. Slow it down. 600 meters. Just need to get another 100 in. Use a third person camera. 
just drifting in so carefully. As soon as we get the data, we pull out. Alright, we just hit all reverse. Almost. Almost there. Slow. 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 Tiniest bit more. Perfect. I can't believe you pulled it off. Here are the credits I promised. Alright, and now... Five grand. All reverse. Literally go straight backwards. We just ease on out. Okay, that's a cool little mission. No, seriously, why are all the coolest missions in space and not down on the ground? Right, gentlemen, time to get you guys back to Neon. And there we go. Moment we touch down, we get the XP, we get the rewards, etc, etc. Lovely. So, uh, Juno is now free to explore the galaxy as much as she wants. Okay, let's get back to, you know, what we were supposed to be doing this entire time. Me and Andreja breaking into an embassy. But like, you know, in a good way. So okay, before we get into, yes, the Andreja bit of the mission, we need to speak to the Free Star first. So Ambassador Radcliffe, there was definitely a mention of, a, yes, an underling we might be able to speak to who might be able to, you know, give us some inside dirt or whatnot. Okay, so unsurprisingly, yes, if we need to find the Ambassador, Embassy's a good place to start. So let's see what we've got going on here, though. Uh, can we just... Yes, we should just be able to bypass you and go straight to the elevator on this occasion. Marvellous. Visitors are only allowed in the lobby, offices, or conference room. That means you. Okay, be careful I don't stray too far. Some of these rooms I'm not supposed to be going into. Terrors. just wish I hadn't received the news from an SSNN broadcast. We have a strategic advantage to maintain, Mr. Long. Of course, ma'am. Uh, I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Uh, excuse me. Are you supposed to be in here? Okay, uh, you see Vanguard. No, don't introduce yourself as Vanguard! Uh, bloody hell. Uh, introduce yourself as a Ranger Aria, but, um, okay. Terramorph attacks. Let's talk about how nobody wants to be dealing with Terramorph attacks. Ah, you're the one McIntyre called about. The eyewitness. She said you were at the spaceport. You have my thanks for what you did down there, truly. Saved many lives. Now, she also mentioned that, and maybe it was just a bad connection, that now the UC wants Terramorph data from the Armistice Archives, some of the most highly guarded information in the galaxy. In order to protect us all. I can only presume you're here to tell me I misheard her and that they didn't send you, local hero, to futilely beg on their behalf. Tell me I've got that right. Okay, let's get your precise objections uh, to cracking open the vaults. Let me be frank, Captain. The answer is no. That information is there because it is dangerous. I will not be the one responsible for its release. Now. Why don't you quit wasting my time, and yours, and go? Right. So there is a persuade option. Figure this out some other way. Are you serious? There was just an attack on... Yes, this exact city that you're sitting in right now. No, Captain, I'm not, and I'll tell you why. What you experienced down there at the spaceport, I've lived that once before already. Fought tooth and nail as aliens rampaged in the streets of my home and others all throughout the Collective. But my aliens were placed there by UC hands. So I'm not interested in anyone getting power like that ever again. The UC most of all. You know what? That's actually a really fair objection. So, uh, right. We'll come back to you in a minute. Because there was talk of uh, someone else we might want to speak to. Uh, who might be able to make life, you know, uh, a lot easier. And here we go, read FC security okay, okay. slate, to speak to the embassy staffer, etc, etc. So, uh, right, I'm allowed in here, this particular room here as well, uh, the ambassador's office, and that's it. Anywhere else is off limits. So, uh, there's also the kitchen. Presumably, yes, this is part of the lobby too, though. Uh, okay, event. Only advanced locked. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. That we can do. Alright, there she goes. Nice and open. 
close it again, but it's now available should we need it. Right, let's have a chat to, yes, the guy in the kitchen. Close the door, nothing suspicious going on here. But hey, let's talk about how you don't like your boss. That woman is an absolute... Oh, sorry. Oh, what? You're the Vanguard captain, right? You know, I was about to board the Nat to the spaceport when the alarm triggered. Sounds like I got real lucky. And like I've got you to thank for things not being a lot uglier. Okay, me and you, we can be friends and... Uh, yes indeed, let's just, you know, reinforce how bloody bad it was. Absolute cocking war zone, mate. Well, then you have my earnest thanks. But, but look, they said you were coming here on official business. The ambassador likes to handle all that personally, even if she does have trained diplomats here to help her. And I don't want to get shipped back to Aquila City, so you should probably go speak to her. Oh, I am planning to, but, 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 ooh. We're aware of your skills. The UC sent me to speak with you. Fascinating. You want to work with me? I... Why don't we talk somewhere uh, a bit more private? Okay. Nice, easy starting off point there. Lovely. We've also got ourselves. Yes, Excuse me, please get out of the way of my turncoat. So you want me to work with you? But why now? Why me? Okay, I'm gonna be honest, you're literally the only person in this building, aside from the ambassador, who's got a name. No one else is willing to speak to me using anything but generic barks. So, it was kind of a limited option pool, but... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're trying to save lives, the ambassador's not helping. But you could. You could be a hero, Mr. Long. So then, uh, what would you need from me? So, uh, into her quarters, uh, access to the machine, or the actual code itself. So the top option's the most difficult, then he's doing all the work. But, if he could just, you know, uh, slip me a security card that lets me get into her quarters to get the blackmail material, uh, that could definitely be, well, one, safer for him, and two, mean I could do most of the heavy lifting. So let's go for that. Her quarters. Huh. Oh, that's doable. And you and the UC will be providing me with what for my services? Okay, so, uh, blimey. A thousand credits, that is nothing, buddy. Wait, I thought you were looking to hire me. I'm not taking a bribe. Oh, okay. I guess we'll need a bigger bribe. I mean, I could lie. Sure, this isn't true right now, and it could be blowback if, like, you know, we never follow through on it, but... I mean, surely McIntyre would like an agent inside the Free Star Embassy. Really? Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, you've got yourself a deal. Okay, so, there's a utility corridor that leads to the Ambassador's Quarters, which you can access through the main conference room. Here, the key. Whatever you do, don't let the guard see you entering or exiting the utility section, or you're going to be in serious hot water. I'll, uh, I'll keep an ear out for more instructions from the UC. Okay. So we've now got ourselves, yeah, some rather useful information there. Magnificent. Mosey straight on up to, yes, this area here. I'm allowed in this room. This is fine. And now, okay. Utility key card that gets me to here. Beautiful. And by the Lucy of it, I'm guessing more of the same over here. So yeah, that one's locked to master. We've got vents on that side and vents on this side. Now that would suggest that yes, her quarters were probably behind her office over here. So if I wanted to, you know, just a mosey in this direction, just gonna make sure no one sees this nice and quick. So you, just a mosey in that direction thank you crack her open in here gets me up top lovely currently trespassing right but no one should see anything up here and i'm guessing by the looks of it yes this would be 
about right here. If I drop down somewhere in this region, that should get me into uh, her office. Just make sure we get this right here. There's a... Andreja, how did you get there ahead of me? And don't forget to just make sure we know uh, who's where. So, uh, right, that's the guard quarters uh, here. We don't want the guard quarters. That's not really what we need. Keep going in this direction. Uh, hang about. This looks better. This looks much better, in fact. Right, now we're definitely around the back of, uh, yes, her office. This is the right side of... Uh, the McJibble. So, okay. Help myself to... Uh... I mean, they did say don't steal. There was a very specific request made uh, to not steal. So, uh... okay. In the interest of not kicking off a diplomatic incident, we're going to not steal, I suppose. So, uh... here we go. Agent detected. Patching in playback. got all the information we need uh, to make sure she plays ball. Lovely. Did I not make myself abundantly clear, Captain? You're not getting access to the archives. Okay, so in which case I might just have to let somebody know about your assassination plan. E excuse me? I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, Ambassador, I think you flipping do. Uh, uh, no, no. If the Council found out, I'd lose my position. I'd be exiled. I'd be... Look, I believe we may have gotten off on the wrong foot. The issue at hand is one of trust, no? So perhaps if I can trust you to keep this little secret between us, then maybe we can find a way to trust the UC with access to the archives. Okay, step one complete. Okay, she moseys downstairs, and right, that's what the final door over here is going to be for. So, uh, I'm guessing, yeah, without Master Lockpick, there's no way to get in here unless... Okay, there it is. Right, that's what that vent on that side's for. That gets you into this room directly if you've got Master Lockpicking. Here you go. Uh, I hope that'll be enough to maintain your discretion. And there we flip it go... Key card number one. Okay, Andreja, let's get out of here because, uh, oh yes, I suspect the next one's going to be a whole lot more interesting for you. Let's go find a snake person. So, okay, we know where that is already. In fact, yeah, we ran into this side door long, long ago. So the main door's locked up tight, but we know there it is, where the side door's located. Oh, and I will give you, this building's nice. I mean, look at the lovely snake sculptures. Andreja, this is gorgeous. I mean, you flip it better have something to say about this. There's literally a snake person statue. You're standing next to it, Andreja. Okay, step one. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Okay. Not seeing much in the way of, you know, alive. Let's just mosey on up to the top. Nice and quick. And, uh, okay. Elevators on both floors here. No major problem. No sign of trouble yet. So, okay. We've got the embassy, the first floor, the second floor. Right, this must be where I am. Second floor, just a little kind of balcony here. And the first floor, presumably down below where I just was. Right, no trouble there. So, okay. We're going down to the embassy, but... If Andrej has got nothing to say here, I'm going to be so disappointed. 
horse, or am I the only person that just heard a roar? Because I swear I just heard a roar. Right. Plenty of plant life, but... Oh! This is... This is certainly different than anything else in New Atlantis. Alright, she's got something to say, but on top of that... Right. Intercoms were just mentioned. Okay. I feel like someone's been down here alone a little bit too long. Lobby security corridor, okay. We may have a... Ah! There may not be, you know, people here anymore. But the security system could still be very much alive. Right, bare minimum, and let's just get myself, yes, set up as a friend. Beautiful. So if we have to be moving on any further, or the turrets suddenly come to life, they won't be attacking me. Magnificent. So, okay, we've also got a SARS hangabout. A furious Razorback. Not that interesting, to be honest. A furious is not that exciting if it's not on, like, you know, a rapid-firing weapon. And was never that great in Fallout either, so... Okay, buddy. How bananas are you feeling right now? Just out of interest. Okay. Do a giant pile of uh, hacking to maybe avoid trouble. Gotcha. So, alright. Crack you open, buddy. And, ooh. Well, that's a bloody ominous room right there. Bare minimum, yeah. There's no point using my abilities. They won't do anything. Can we, however, gosh darn it, we can't have these outfits. They look really badass and everything. Decades unsupervised. And it seems this tree has decided it now owns this place. What on earth is... Uh-oh. See robots. They should be on my side. Right. And... It's just a robot. It's fine. Did they have anything of value? Epot. No, 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 I was supposed to... Okay, possibly I didn't hack you well enough, just... No! Okay, there's there's a lot of uh, hissing and noise and... Don't attack me, don't attack me, don't attack me. No, the turrets should be on my side. The turrets are fine. The turrets are chill. Robots aren't turrets. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Just need to follow the various requests there's a lot of mannequins set up but you know it's a bethesda game they're like their creepy mannequins uh, right just hop over the top if we can there we go i feel like i may have just i've definitely just given my position away a bit there like you know that level of jetpacking was not a good idea right avoid the explosive weaponry we're not going to be able to like you know use that properly in here like Bad idea in a way. Stick with, yeah, this old girl. This old girl's doing a good job, but I'm in danger right now. My sense stuff can't do anything in this location. There's definitely some more trouble around the corner somewhere, but this is... Are you... You're not chill. You're probably not chill either. Okay, we're outside of the correct location for that noise. So arrived, a power switch, no uh, trouble, yet more power. Just make sure there's not more. You're actually, oh, hang on this, oh, hello, hi, 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 no, no, no trouble, no trouble. Plenty more cocky robots, just grab all of this, etc, etc. Right, ventilation systems, that just dragged a whole bunch of like, you know, tree pollen out of the room or something, though. I swear it's also just coming through the ceiling. This is all very weird. Right, hang on. Where else do you need to go, buddy? We need to go up, apparently. Find some stairs or something. This will cock it do the job. Uh, right, keep on keeping on. You're dead, right? You look nice and dead. Right. Just mosey in the right direction. We're now on the right floor. Just need to... Yes. 
avoid any potential trouble. Right, what I'm seeing, I think, yep, turrets hang about. I see you over there-ish. About there, give up. Okay, let's just get, like, you know, vaguely near it. This is explosive, right? That's explosive. That'll take it out sooner or later. Job done, ultimately. Right, just a little bit more. Just keep firing. Andreja, don't do it, Andreja. Don't get in the way while I'm firing explosive weaponry. There we go. Oh, blimey, there's, there, were, there were more here. There were more here. There were... No, ow, ow, Andreja. Andreja, please assist. Like, in, in a useful way, ideally. Right, no explosive weapon. Oh, blimey, it's fast. It's cocky fast. Also, John, 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 John. No. No punching me. What did I just... Just shoot it. Just shoot it with a gun. Okay. They're fast. They're really fast. I need this thing to be fully loaded. Gotcha. Okay, and also, I cannot see what the cock's going on. Andreja, please be more help. Okay. What else is going on over there? And... Something bad's going on. Bloody hell. Right, this Oh, yep, yeah, 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 that's fine, that's fine. I don't like these guys just appearing out of the darkness. That I don't appreciate. Don't appreciate at all. Just use my scanner and Hello over there. Oh, you can jump, can't you? Okay, well that's that's not so good. And Okay, there's another one. Going down. And Traitor, I feel like you're not contributing much. Like to conversation or to murder. Those are my two favourite things, so. Okay. See you. Let me take you out. Nope. Whatever's going on. I see nothing. Those here. Crack this open. Something's going on, but that's fine. We may be able to bypass it. There we go. That gets cracked open. Beautiful. Hopefully we just bypass something. Right. Hit the power and... Basement. Beware demon. Okay, bare minimum, one good thing, which is the first wave of robots have been taken care of, and uh, we know this guy's alive. Somebody is alive to give us the code, so that's nice at least. And speaking of which, right, I see more robots, and... Gonna be honest, fired a tiny bit prematurely, definitely a little bit right, so we got ourselves... Oh, blimey! Weird, like, scorpion dog bots there. Okay, Andreja, you just hold the line while I try and reload a little bit. And bang, lovely. Nice, we're doing some good work right over there. He's coming for me. Right, another one goes down, lovely. Right. Scorpion dogs or something. And I think they're done. Okay, Andreja, you've disappointed me so far. You cocking well better have something to contribute to basically the only other member of House Varun we've met in this entire cocky game. Right, hello there, good sir. Please don't be too excessively bananas, because I kind of need a code from you. So, what seems punishment becomes providence. <laughs> a reminder we can never truly know the Great Serpent's designs for us. You have my thanks, and my apologies for the ordeal you just endured. Come, let us discuss. I'm gonna be honest, he sounds less bananas than I was expecting, so uh, that's good at least. Not the ideal introduction, I suppose, giving you a grand tour of the embassy via barely functioning intercoms. <laughs> I do greatly appreciate your persistence. I suspect the Venom Tree upstairs has worked itself into more systems than I'd realized. But then again, who could cage such a beauty? Tell me though, what is it like outside? I heard the broadcast mentioning an attack, then the embassy was struck with a power surge and then... Silence. Has the rest of the city suffered quite so badly? I'm gonna be honest, we kind of tidied it up in like 10 minutes, it's all fine. So, uh, yes indeed, a Venom Tree. Did I go a bit bananas in there? Because I swear, yes, my character was hearing things a bit weird. Carmless spores, you have my word, but uh, hard to navigate. Hence why I was guiding you through the intercoms to restore the environmental controls. <laughs> and release me. It is the sap of the tree that gives it its... Well, <laughs> perhaps not a topic for this exact moment. Now, it cannot solely be the Serpent's Grace that brought you here at such an opportune moment. You were sent by the UC. That much is obvious. Who else could just waltz through my door, hmm? 
and the broadcast spoke of terror morphs at the spaceport. A worrying occurrence, certainly, but coming here of all places, when all I could provide is some enthused cheerleading and... Uh, an archive code. So, the UC requires information, then. On terror morphs, presumably, hmm? Do I see this all clearly? Absolutely spot on, though, uh, yes indeed. I'm not sure you know uh, how you're going to feel about that. Yeah, the preservation of life stands as the very purpose of the Archives. Using its data to prevent more attacks, there is logic there. But, if I am to grant you access, I have a requirement. For years, House Varun has been known only as an agent of slaughter. We founded this embassy with hopes of shedding that legacy. With little success. In exchange for my code, I require this. You must be the one who ensures it is used for good. Ensure House Varun's legacy is more than just carnage. The knowledge you ask for isn't evil. No knowledge is. It is we who bend it to evil ends. Oh, you must assure me this will be used to save lives, not endanger them. Okay, that's the plan, but as I've said before, I strongly suspect somebody is pulling the strings in the background uh, to get the archive open. Like, something's wrong here, but... Yes, indeed. Independent observers. Like, that's fine. I've said that before. That's A-OK. -okay. Every side uh, can act as witness to make sure it's being done properly. Every measure will be taken to ensure the information is used for good. Well, then I shall not fear. Please, follow me. And there. Let it be used for good. And there we go, Code the Second has been acquired, a magnificent. Oh, I'll give you one thing though, calibrated bounty hunter track skip pack, so very good defensively, and on top of that, skip capacity boost pack, which I think is the one that's good for like, you know, covering a whole bunch of distance, which is kind of what I use it for most of the time. Although I will say it is wild that during this entire mission, Andreja has literally one irrelevant thing to say. That is bananas. Okay, so that's the keys, though yes, the question does occur to me, where precisely is, like, you know, uh, the physical vault? Because surely Freestar would never allow it to be maintained on, like, you know, uh, UC territory. Juicy would never allow it on Freestar. Surely the entire point is that everyone would insist it would be kept on, you know, uh, neutral territory. Okay, McIntyre, what have we got coming up next? Captain, I just received a couple messages from an operative in the embassy office. I did... Did you actually succeed? With Radcliffe and Balmore. Was he alive? Did they both actually agree? Okay, I am clearly far more competent than you've been giving me credit for. Here you go, McIntyre. That's incredible. I wasn't sure Radcliffe would ever get on board. I'm very much looking forward to getting the debrief on how precisely you managed to pull all this off, but that'll have to wait for another time. Regardless... Superlative work, Captain. And now, I've already arranged everything with the archival monitors. When you get down there, the UC monitor will give you instructions on how to deploy the codes. Follow them to the letter. Here, the UC code piece and an archival access card. The entrance is just on the other side of the plaza across from Mast. Absolute best behavior down there, all right? Never mind, it's on Jemison. Okay. I do not think that's reasonable. Like, you know, as a world-building thing. Surely, there is no chance in hell Freestar would consent, especially as Freestar, just as a reminder, won the Cocking War, that the losing power would be the ones allowed to, you know, maintain the vault of secret weapons data on their capital planet. No, 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 that's ridiculous. Okay, you know what? That's a bit more legit. It's literally next door to the Free Star Embassy. So, right, they can at least, like, you know, keep an eye on it, I suppose. So, in we go. Oh, blimey, I like your vault, by the way. This is cool. So, okay. We've got security from, yep, yeah, Archive Guard dressed kind of, you know, Varuni. 
one guard dressed a bit more freestyle. So, right, the guards are from everybody. Keep on keeping on. They should be expecting me. And uh, hello there, guys. What do you need me to do? Please approach the monitoring station and we will go over the rules. Welcome, Captain, to the archives. To proceed, you will need to deposit your codes into the three corresponding receptacles. Once they are verified, I will open the door. Your data resides in Unit 18. You will not be able to access any of the other units. Once you've collected your data, return to the entrance. You may insert the first of the archival codes when you're ready to begin. Okay, drop in the codes to Unit 18, nothing else. So, uh, alright. Here we go. Alright, that seems to have been accepted. Uh, over to uh, the next. And then uh, finally over here. Okay, now this is the point I expect something is going to go wrong. If somebody set this all up to force this door open... Well, now it's open, so... Uh, okay, just... Be ready for trouble, and yes, like they were saying, I can't access anything else, so... Uh, there we go. Mosey straight on out. Please look up the vault, I don't like it being open, okay? I'm deeply worried uh, by the fact it's open at all. Just there we go. You can close it now, we're done, but okay, fine, they're not closing it. Please close it. I don't like it being open. There we go. They closed it. They actually got around to closing it. Good. Good, good, good. And they didn't seal Andreja in there forever either. Maybe I was wrong. Like my instinct said to me, hey, the moment the door's open, something's going to explode. Someone's going to grab something else. But maybe that's not where we're going at all. I'm not sure. Okay, back up to the top. We're going back to McIntyre, apparently. So, okay. What do we need to do now? Captain. Surprised to find out we're having visitors as we work. Major Sinan and I were just discussing the merits of your planned interfactional cooperation. I think it's a great idea. Get them invested in the solution. Make it clear we've got nothing to hide. I'm sure they'll be lovely house guests. Now, Captain, if you wouldn't mind transferring the documents to the Major, she and I have been discussing next steps. All right, there you go, Hadrian. Time for us to start getting some real answers. And figure out if we've been asking the right questions. Okay, one more thing. I know this is going to sound silly, but can you promise me the data's going to be used for good and not evil? I... Yes. It will be. Percival and I have done our damage. This... This is us starting to put some things right. Plus, you don't need her word. We'll be setting up oversight alongside the Collective. Okay, oversight I appreciate. That's good. So... In which case, here you go. Acknowledged and accepted, Captain. So with the data out of the way, we've been discussing where exactly this work's getting done. The Red Devil's headquarters on Mars, back where you found Percival, seemed the natural spot. Already has the equipment, the safety measures. Should even be able to house its own cadre of independent observers. Though it sounded like the deputy had a few more things she needed to discuss with you first. Indeed. The most important of which is getting you your citizenship. Then I guess we'll see you on Mars. Captain, if you'll follow me. Okay. She's brought us outside for some reason. Okay, McIntyre, what on earth is going on here precisely? Got ourselves. No, that's just Andreja. Don't worry, I thought that was someone else. Hello, McIntyre. All right, Captain. Are you ready to become a citizen of the United Colonies? I mean, I. Guess so, sure. Good. This isn't the only item we need to discuss, so I'll give you the short version. Please raise your hand. Captain, through your actions today and in days past, you have earned your place among the United Colonies. Through service, bravery, strength, and upholding of the mutual good. Will you carry and cultivate these values for as long as you remain a citizen? Okay, that was very subjective, but if it gets me cheaper stuff in shops, I'll say yes. And then, Captain, I'm pleased to welcome you into the United Colonies as a full citizen. Here, your official ID and your citizenship dispensation. 
We've also let the Aphelion Realty Office out in the plaza know you're approved to purchase property. Now, the other item we needed to discuss. There's a member of the UC who's asked to speak to you, but this person is in a... sensitive position. Normally, we wouldn't even consider something like this, but we think this person has information that could prove useful in dealing with the Terramorphs. And they've stated they'll only share it with you. They asked for you by name. So I need your agreement that everything you're about to see is kept in the strictest confidence. You can tell no one. Can you agree to these terms? Okay, sure, but... I'm suspicious that twist is still coming. Head to the elevator. You're going to subsection 7. I'll make sure you're cleared for access by the time you get there. Alright, there we go. Giant pile of money, a tiny bit of XP too. The mission is complete, but the devils you know has started instead. So, okay. How about having made it into the archive and become a citizen, we call it a part there. But next time, okay. I can't deny. I'm suddenly interested, yes, who this person might be, and thus what the twist is. So, I suspect me and Andreja are going straight down to sub-basement 7 to have a nice little chat with whoever the cock this is, because I suspect that, yes, it's not as easy as Hadrian finds the cure or whatever, and that's the end of it. Something's going to go very, very badly wrong yet, and it's possible the next time we're going to find out what. So hopefully you join me for that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been Many a True Nerds, and this has been Starfields. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got... I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out... Die, you moving bastards! Die! Die! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.